In this video everyone you join me on a windy British Motor Museum car park for the Roots Heritage Show and we're going to start off with this absolutely gorgeous comma coach. Driver, it's you don't want to get if you've got a very nice concourse clean, yes. clean underneath, you don't really want to get it out of here. No. Why? This is beautiful. Well, it's absolutely a beautiful piece of history right there. Not so good with me roots vehicle, sorry everyone. But we'll have a look anyway. Humber snipe. That's one large car for two seats. But it's beautiful. So another snipe, of course. Replete with golf clubs. Or of course you can have it in estate form. Loving the sun visor across the top of the windshield. A hawk. A 1947 Pullman. Another hawk. Have a sunbeam right here. Again for sale. Rather stunning Alpine. Next to a blue on cream on blue hawk. That's a nice colour combo there. Look at this for a big umber. Again, love the badge bars. It's a definitely was a thing. Certainly in the 60s, 70s. I've been spot for choice for parts today, everyone, and uh, I have actually purchased, they were ordered last week actually, from one of the two Anderson brothers. Anyone that has an imp should know the Anderson brothers, Malcolm and Graham, purchased rear seats for Hilda in tan, because at the moment Hilda's fitted with, well, quite frankly, rubbish seats. They're comfortable, but they're from a Ford Fiesta uh, five door, so they don't even tilt. But spot for choice here at the Auto Jumble. Just bumped into Tony, a Forge garage in Lullington, my uh, relatively local specialist that looks after most of my old cars. Sunbeam ripe here. With a cab roof. Alpine again. Another super snipe. Next to an Alpine. Just had a wonderful conversation with the owner of this. It's been in the same family forever. I love that. Right. Quick run around, see what else we've got. Aren't they just all beautiful, everyone? What a beautiful colour. Oh yeah. Which is absolutely brilliant. So what I've done is uh I've got my bath and I've got a little bit of 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 a
Oh, I'm obviously going to like this one, aren't I? A Singer Shamwa sporting its double headlamps, of course, whereas Hilda, being a Hillman Imp, has only got single headlamps. How beautiful is that? That's gorgeous. Singer Vogue. And we have a Super Minx over here. Another Alpine. And another Alpine. Next to an Avenger. Next to the sporty Avenger Tiger. Not with the extra carb roads, but that distinctly looks like the 1600 I had in the Sunbeam. Another Avenger and then a Super Minx Estate. Got a lovely common van here, all liveried up with Gilks Garage Calf. Been there. It's a popular meet up place for petrol heads. Of course, again, I love them all, but I'm obviously going to be drawn to the imps as we have one on the channel. Nineteen sixty five Hillman Rally Imp Hillman Minx Mag Magnuson. Never heard of that one. Nice comma camper with a pop top. Another Avenger, an earlier Avenger. It's another Alpine. Next to a lot of Sunbeam, they're commanding 20 plus K at the moment in the UK. Right here. Now there are so many versions that was done of the imp with the stiletto, the chamois, sunbeam and obviously the imp itself. This one is a sunbeam with the coupe back and the vinyl roof. That's another gorgeous alpine. Aren't they just lovely, everyone? Let's have a look at this sunbeam. Beautiful. It's actually just to take the direct feed off your battery. What has to be an extremely rare Avenger estate. Protecting the dashboard from cracks, I don't blame them. Sunbeam version, so again, a bit of badge work going on, and again with this Sunbeam Vogue. So it's a smaller show this one everyone, it will be a shorter video, but nevertheless, it's nice so to see so many Roots Group cars here. So another Avenger. This one of course later, so badged Chrysler rather than Hillman. And then another Sunbeam, sloped back with the twin headlamps that we saw on the Shambar. A Simca. And again a big old Humber. This Avenger is looking rather stunning. Automatic. Again, same engine I had in the Sunbeam. Well 
so another super minx and of course another quite early hillman imp with the mirrors on the bonnet being an early one it's got a different seat pattern to hilda i've had to make sure today that they were the correct seats for the later imp got another super snipe here That's just beautiful. Another rapier coupe. Effectively an Avenger coupe. Eh? And another early Hillman Imp. And Alpine. And another Alpine. Some being told at 19. There's a good turnout of Alpines today, but there's a good turnout, thankfully, of the Hillman Imp. So again, this is an earlier version. Next to another Hillman Imp. And next to what I'd call the estate version. Now apparently Royal Mail did try out the van version of the Imp but they found two problems. One, it was too fast. They didn't want a fast vehicle for the employees. And number two, with that rear engine, it did reduce the amount of stuff you could fit in the cargo load area. I think that looks rather nice. Same wheels as I've got on Hilda. We've got a clan over here, which of course is basically built on an imp. Now I said there weren't that many here, but actually there's quite a few. So again, it's a popular wheel choice, much like we've got on Hilda, but it does suit the car. That one's a G-Reg, the same as my late father's. A Minx. Another Alpine. Got a few Alpines, including this one, Le Mans. It'll be one of these that Tony's come in, it'll be that one. Tony, a Forge Garage. He's my go-to guy now for all things classic cars. But what a splendid example, I've seen this a few times. That's his garage. He's busy chatting, I'm not gonna disturb him. Humber. So yes, believe it or not, there is an imp sitting under there. Aren't they just all stunning, everyone? So again, nice Sunbeam Alpine Coupe. Roots Group East Anglia. So another Vogue estate. So I said the Avenger estate must be rare, but Singer Vogue estate. That's got to be extremely rare. Have a peek under the bonnet. It's always the badged car. Another scepter. Right, we'll cut through here. It's another Super Minx.
Another earlier Avenger. Next to the Tolbert badge, so obviously a lighter one again, of course. Another Impest site. And the commercial version of the sign. Next to a light Hillman Imp. So many Hillman Imps have got non-standard seats in, which is absolutely fine. Hilda's currently got non-standard seats. I guess the standard seats weren't the most comfortable and of course they're probably hard to come by now. Although I've been lucky enough to find the right colour that I wanted for mine. But there's so many Imps with those wheels and different seats. And the Super Minks. It's going to be windy today everyone, so if the audio goes a bit bad, there's going to have to be music instead of listening to this brummy. Another Sunbeam Breaker. And another Sunbeam Tolbert 90. I think those are Tony's preferred classic. <laughs> so because I said they're rare of course, here's another one. That's a splendid colour. Two gorgeous imps here. And then we got this lovely commercial vehicle with a hacked off rear identical one of the trailer. Right, let's cut through here. That wind's picking up now. Husky, look at that. I think Husky was the name they gave to the Impestate. I'll double check and correct myself in the bottom of the video. But we have got another gorgeous period colour early Singer. Singer version. So if you can hear me over the wind, the Singer Shamwar, because of course we're with the Singer Owners Club. Next to another slope back this is the last line of cars for this short video everyone We've got more alpines although this is a smaller roots show which i believe it's the first time they've come to the british remote museum I think they've done themselves proud with the vehicles they've got here today, particularly with the threat of the weather changing. Another comma, because it's the van. Another Alpine. A Super Minx estate. And a rather good, gorgeous, I was going to say, a rather gorgeous colour, Super Snipe. And that's where we're going to end, next to the lake at the side of the British Moat Museum. We will finish with this super snipe. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button because it does show your support and helps build the channel. If you're not subscribed, there's a link somewhere back there in a few moments. Why don't you hit it? It's completely free to subscribe, but again, I value your support. Enjoy whatever it is you're driving, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Isn't it all peaceful when the winds are gone? Look, isn't that beautiful? British Moat Museum. If you've never been, get here. It's worth it.